So it's pretty obvious that there are a ton of very odd, weird, and unusual homes out there, and I've covered a lot of them. But these homes are, in my opinion, some of the weirdest homes I've ever made a video about. In this video, I take you on a tour through a modern boat mansion floating on water, all the way to a 2,000 square foot house completely built inside an old mining cave. So let's not waste any time and just jump into this tour. Up first, we visit the beer house. John Milkovich, a retired upholsterer for the Southern Pacific Railroad, started his project now known as the Beer Can House in 1968, when he began inlaying thousands of marbles, rocks, and metal pieces into concrete and redwood to form unique landscaping features, when the entire front and backyard were completely covered because he got sick of mowing the grass, he turned to the house itself and began adding aluminum siding, aluminum beer can siding, that is. Over the next 18 years, the house disappeared under a cover of flattened beer cans for both practical and decorative reasons. Garlands made of cut beer cans hanging from the roof edges not only made the house sing in the wind, but also lowered the family's energy bills. Ripley's Believe It or Not estimated that over 50,000 cans adorn this monument to recycling. This house has just about 1,100 square feet of interior space and can be found in the city of Lake Worth and is covered floor to ceiling in empty beer cans. Every room from the bathroom, kitchen, or bedroom are all covered in empty beer cans and have been very strategically placed. The house was actually recently for sale for a little over $100,000 when the news broke. Apparently, the beer company actually supported them and helped sell the house. Up next, we visit the Sand Dollar Beach House. Designed by a famous architect named John Covert Watson, the Sand Dollar House is exactly as it seems. The house is just about 2,500 square foot and is also perched up along the coast, which makes living in an odd-looking home a little easier. Built in 1979 and finished in 1980, the house comes with three bedrooms alongside two spacious bathrooms. The unusual shaped home and glass windows that stretch the whole wall give amazing views of the sunset and completely fill the home with natural sunlight. The house has a very large kitchen that also stretches out to a deck where you can sit out back and soak up the breathtaking views. The house was for sale for as much as $2 million, but now can be purchased for $800,000. This home may be considered weird, but personally, it's something I would love to live in or even have as a vacation home. Up next, we visit this floating modern mansion. This famous mansion that was on a few different TV shows and even the news a handful of times is located in Oregon along the side of the Willamette River. This amazing residence was built in 1984, but wasn't fully completed until 1988 as the aluminum and other metals used to make the home had issues. The house is known as Aqua Star and some cool features besides the fact of owning a floating mansion are that it comes with three spacious bedrooms and three bathrooms all designed and styled like the rest of the home. Now considered dated, the interior of the mansion is decorated in a retro-like style that was considered modern years ago. The home spans over 3,200 square feet and features ton of natural light through the tons of windows used all around the home. It's not a bad view to wake up to. So although the home is located in the Yacht Club, it still remained hard to sell after almost a year on the market. Someone finally purchased it and plan on doing a complete renovation of the place. Up next, we visit this cave house. Located in the desert of Arizona, this cool cave house sits on almost 40 acres of land, making your property even more private than it already was. Not too many neighbors hanging out in the desert. Originally purchased in the late 80s, they blew up a giant hole in the wall and then dug their way through the rest of the rock, making an awesome little house. Showing these pictures and video really doesn't do it justice. The inside is just as inviting as the outside. You get to see all the craftsmanship, and natural carving they did to tunnel their way into the mountains. The house is almost 3,000 square feet and features a fully finished kitchen with plenty of space of entertaining. The homes also has three bedrooms and three and a half bathrooms, not to mention even an office or workspace. Once you head outside, you'll have an amazing patio to relax and soak up all the sunlight that comes your way. The only downside to being very hot in the summer is that in the desert, the winters are just as brutal with temperatures dropping below freezing at night the home has had a little bit of trouble selling and was last up for sale for almost $1 million. Would you ever consider living here? Up next, we visit this mansion that's fully Star Trek themed. 
On the outside, the amazing mansion looks so unassuming. It looks like an other mansion located in Florida. That's until you open up the front door. The house is over 20,000 square feet and located in South Florida, near Boca Raton. This house is one of those that truly need to be seen to be believed. The home was finished in the early 2000s and owned by a gentleman named Mark Bell, who is obsessed with Star Trek. It's not totally clear, but Mark has said he spent over $1.5 million renovating his house to be fully themes after the television show. Besides being totally different, the house does come with some cool safety features as well. Firstly, the house is fully stormproof and ready to withstand tornadoes and even a Category 5 hurricane. The home has over two acres of land, which being in Palm Beach is a big chunk of land. It also comes with a theater, arcade, and wild gaming room. This mansion was for sale not too long ago for over $20 million, but with that large price tag, you're going to have to find the perfect buyer who has that kind of money and also the same love and passion for Star Trek. Up next, we visit this Victorian prison house. This pretty house was for sale in 2019 for a very reasonable price and people were shocked thinking it might be worth more. That all changed when they toured the home. The house was built in 1874 and has about 2,700 square feet space. Inside, you'll find two bedrooms, one bathroom, not to mention a huge kitchen with marble countertops and plenty of room for entertaining. A secret door in the kitchen leads you down the hall into a jail complete with full-size cells. The former owner was in fact a sheriff, so that makes sense, but not enough sense to do this. Some people just always bring work home. This side of the house has almost 10 full-length jail cells, and not to mention everything a normal cell has, like bunk beds and even a stainless steel toilet. The home has actually been rented out before for video shoots using the backside of the house for a movie set. Now back on the market, the house is for sale for $300,000. Up next, we visit this underground Texas home. This underground bunker-like home is not for people who wish to live a traditional life and will for sure take a certain type of person to purchase it. If you've ever wanted to live off-grid or hide out somewhere totally under the radar, then this unique hobbit house could well be your dream home. The house sits on a little over 40 acres of land, Texas. The monolithic dome home was constructed in 1997. This home has its very own entrance that can be fully sealed in case a doomsday-like event were to happen keeping everyone safe inside. Once through the front door, you go down a tunnel until you're met in the foyer of the 3,200 square foot home. The house, as you might expect, is fully in the ground, so there are no windows or any natural sunlight coming in. Although for being in the ground, the house does come with tall ceilings and spacey rooms to lounge in just like any other home. Glenn Young is the owner and wanted his own safe space far away from neighbors, which is how he came up with this. The homes features three bedrooms and two bathrooms, not to mention an office, large living room, and its very own doomsday room. Outside the house, there's even an additional 7,000 square foot warehouse and open land to put to use. The house is for sale currently for $1.5 million. Up next, we visit this bubble mansion. This bubble mansion that sits on a cliffside has to be most expensive house I've ever covered. Designed in the 70s by a man named Antti Lovag, it then took almost 20 years to build and finish this odd mansion. Talk about a long renovation. Spanning over 13,000 square feet, the home is made up of almost only terracotta. The house was designed to sit perfectly overlooking the water and to give the owner the all-time best views of the landscape. The house is made up over five levels that have anything from a spacious kitchen to massive ballrooms and even 11 bedrooms and 10 bathrooms. Some rooms even feature indoor-outdoor living that makes you feel like you're sitting right on the beach. If you're into living in a circular mansion where every single room of the house is circular, and even outside your pools or circles, then this home can be all yours. It even comes with stadium style seating that is used as a mini outdoor theater. So if you have $400 million that you're looking to spend, then you can purchase this house. That's right. This home is for sale for $400 million. Up next, we visit this artist mansion owned by Dr. Phil. Currently for sale, once again, this property originally went viral when Dr. Phil's son, Jordan McGraw, full renovated this mansion to have a very interesting interior. The house is kitted out with fake firearms and crazy colors, not to mention oddly shaped furniture and decoration. Throughout the nearly 7,000 square foot house, the house comes with five bedrooms and seven bathrooms and is fully kitted out to entertain. The home has a massive bar and lounge area, not to mention a home theater, pool, wine cellar, and arcade. Not bad for a gift from your dad. 
Dr. Phil's son self-designed and created most of the odd features found throughout the home, as well as over four other interior designers to aid him in finishing up his design. The house is listed at $6 million, but I think we'll have trouble finding a buyer base on its interior, which is funny because I don't mind it, but most people would be shocked. Up next, we visit a former water tower in Belgium, known as Chateau d'Eau, has undergone a remarkable transformation into a fully habitable residence. If you associate water towers solely with water storage, this might surprise you. Architect Mauro Brigham viewed the restoration as more than just preservation. He and his team skillfully converted this 30 meter tall, 60 year old water tower into a luxurious and contemporary home. Equipped with the latest in IT technology, automation, sound systems, and temperature regulation, this modern dwelling is a testament to the intersection of history and innovation. A stylish spiral staircase graces the center of the structure, seamlessly connecting all floors. Inside, you'll find a modular kitchen, a sumptuous sitting area, bedrooms, and more. Who would have imagined that an aging water tower could be transformed into such an appealing and sophisticated living space? Your new home deserves the touch of beauty and innovation brought to life in Chateau d'Eau. Up next, we visit this gas station home. No, this isn't a mirage in an automotive garage, states the listing. Rev up your engines and venture just 18 minutes beyond Dallas and Fort Worth to Roanoke, Texas, where your ideal property awaits. Expertly situated across 10 acres, this expansive car haven seamlessly blends enjoyment with practicality. Discover car lifts, a paint application booth, a tire changer, and a wealth of vintage memorabilia for your thrill-seeking desires, followed by relaxation around the fire pit and in the generously sized tiered pool. The estate, boasting five bedrooms and five and a half bathrooms, sprawls over 7,600 square feet and resembles the ultimate man cave, complete with a garage capable of accommodating up to 10 cars. According to the listing, the primary residence features two bedrooms, while the entertaining house and glass repair center can easily host 60 people for anything from a charitable celebration to an intimate wedding. All right, everyone, I think that's gonna wrap this video up. Like I mentioned in the beginning, follow all my social media, and also 50% of the people who watch me don't subscribe. So just, if you're watching, just click the subscribe button. It's free, it means a lot. And then an alternative option would be to become a member, which costs a couple dollars, but then, you know, I'll be calling you guys, FaceTiming you guys. You get cool badges, you get exclusive videos. Um, I'll be making videos that I can't show, like public channel. So you guys get a ton of cool features and by clicking here and becoming a member. But anyway, guys, I hope you enjoyed this video i love you guys thank you for the constant support feel free to share this video on anything and i'll see you in the next video later